All right, guys, so I'm out again. This time in the daylight, as you can see. We got a couple hours of dark uh, daylight left, but never mind. I'm down in this new position, uh, permission just now. The Ace 250 with an L coil. And I tried the top of the hill up there a couple hours ago and got a little copper thing. Sorry, I'm using the phone just now, so it's not going to focus very well. Uh, a shotgun cartridge and an iron staple, I think that's what that is. Two rusty nails and part of a World War II webbing buckle, I think. So, I'll give it another couple of hours and see what I can find here. Cause don't know when I'll get back out, and at least the snow's gone, so I'll give it another go. Here we go again. <laughs> Lovely big horseshoe. Cracker. And my phone's sitting off the detector. Eh? Yeah. On to the other one. Alright, guys. Next one is a bullet. Not sure what kind, probably a triple two or something around that. Focus. No, 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 yeah, no. There we go. Never mind. Oh well. On to the next one. Right, we go with it. Part of a, some sort of top. I'm not exactly sure. Remember that. Brass. No, wasn't very deep. But I think it's old enough, is it? I don't know. down the field with, without even the thing switched on which is pretty stupid eh? <laughs> guys here we go I'm glad I found this because I'm absolutely freezing a little coin it's pretty warm by the looks of things very light I have absolutely no idea what this is two seconds anything on it, it's totally blank. A blank disc. <laughs> oh well, never mind. It's stuck, as you can see, just a couple inches under the surface, so I'm not surprised. And this is a well fertilized field too, so it totally just destroys everything, doesn't it? Yeah, no much left of that. Oh well, never mind. On to the next. Alright guys, so here we go, that's uh, the buckle, that's my World War II webbing belt I think the looks of it, and right now what I thought was a triple two is actually a 303, and a shotgun cartridge cap that I found on the, up on the hill, and I still don't know what this is, absolutely no idea. A bit of copper of some sort, and I think this is a pulley or a window sash. I could be wrong, but a small little pulley. Still got some white paint on it. Uh, this, I have no idea what that is, but nice and intricate anyway. Uh, I think possibly. This is my first ever bog seal, a small lead. As you can see here, it looks like it just opens up. So, I don't know. Never had a bog seal before, so it could be. And the usual lumps of iron. So, 
They're not too bad. In about five hours I was out today, so on a new permission. Not knowing where to go and what to look for, so I'll give it another go as soon as I get some time. But thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Alright guys, I nearly forgot this coin. I had it in a tab trying to clean it. I'm not exactly sure who this is, but I don't know if you can see on the right hand side of the coin. The nose. Well, I think it's a forehead and a hairline. But when I had it wet, it actually looked like a very thick neck and a big head. I don't know who that could be. I'm not an expert in these, these kind of coins, so nothing on the back as you can see but it's not in very good shape eh? <laughs> oh well just your luck I suppose but it just shows you what uh, a few years in the highly fertilized soils can do to a copper coin and us uh, totally destroys them <laughs>